Are you still there? What the fuck is that? Did you hear that? Yeah. I heard it over here. And we heard a whistle from the stairwell and also from the hallway. Hello everyone, this is Dan Bell. In this documentary, we're going to explore the paranormal. We visited two allegedly haunted locations for this project and had some interesting experiences. The first location is a former mental asylum that has been turned into government offices. Employees there have reported disembodied voices and apparitions. Our second location, a classic Baltimore mansion named Uplands where things really do go bump in the night. Now, we're not here to be preachy, and we're not saying either of these places are haunted. We're not here to proclaim anything or change minds. I just filmed everything as it happened, and I leave it up to you, the viewer, to decide if it's ghosts or something much more mundane. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our little journey into the paranormal. All right, Rick, tell everybody what we're doing. We're ghost hunting, Dan. <laughs> well, you're ghost hunting. I'm just filming. He's filming me. And Dan doesn't believe in any of this ghostest stuff, but I kind of do. And and where are we? We're in an active building that used to house the mentally ill. It was like an asylum. Mm -hmm. And it opened around 1932, 1933. And it was operated for decades. And then it eventually became an office and that's where we are we're in an office building and we have access to it yes and uh and so we're gonna go Look around and listen and see what happens yeah and we'll clip in some of the vintage footage so as well. cool because if we've been here before this is a little return to the scene of the crime or yeah years and years later <laughs> hundreds of pounds heavier <laughs> 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 All right, let's do it. There's some, somebody in there. Can you believe it? This time in life. Why don't we just go to the basement? We'll just keep going down the steps. You want to take the elevator? Troubles we have to go past her to do it. So we'll either go up or go down. Who is she? She's a supervisor. Damn. Okay, we'll go this way. suckers to be here. Yeah. They probably leave an hour before you're supposed to get off. All right. So Rick, what kind of um what kind of activity paranormal activity <laughs> have people reported? Yeah. Well we're coming up to a hallway where apparitions have been seen multiple times. I think it's the same apparition, but it's been seen by a couple different people. 
either down this hall or going into offices. That's what I was told. Mm -hmm. uh, one floor up, there have been several sightings of, again, another entity, full body apparition. And up on the floor we started, we started up on three and we walked down from three to here. And uh, this is the basement. There's one more level below us now. Mm. It's the really the the bowels of the building. Let's go there. It gives you a real appreciation of yeah. how old this place is because it's unimproved down there. It really looks reminiscent. This building, like a lot of these uh, mental asylums that were large campuses across the country, they were connected by tunnels. So there's a, a tunnel we can see. It was closed after years, so it's only the opening that used to lead to a complete tunnel. Let's see. There it is. Right there. Oh man. Oh, I forgot about this. So you can see at the end of the tunnel, it's now blocked off. But that just used to lead to a connection that led to other buildings. Power plant. Here we have, this is um, water, condensate water from the recirculated hot water. Mm -hmm. You can see it's called condensate return. It returns it back to be reheated, recirculated. And there's another connection that way. What the hell? Okay. Let's see what we can find. You ready? Yep. All right. <coughs> You'll probably be able to stand up over there, won't you? There's a net back here. A net? Yeah. Like for catching rats, maybe? Probably. Holy shit. What's in there? Well, it's like a walled in area up here. You have brick at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. So that's what they did. sure that thing over there is actually like not openable? Yes, yeah, not openable. It's a block wall now. Oh. I've been here before. <laughs> it just shows you a little bit of ancient equipment. I don't think the furniture's that old. It's like maybe the 60s and 70s. Yeah. As you can see, they really haven't done much. There's another connection. Stairwell, we could uh, oh, okay. the elevator. Here's the other stairwell. 
Yeah, here it is. Remember this? Oh, yeah. Now, this was cool. We, um, we had something happen in here. We heard like something was making a tapping sound and it was some kind of like responsive. It's probably the heat. We thought it was the heat and then sometimes the the noise is like, like rapping on this rail. Mm -hmm. Doesn't sound at all like the banging of air in the pipe. And we heard this before. I remember that time you got you good. <laughs> I'm going to show that right now. Okay. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to see it. <laughs> uh, Spooky in here. Here comes the really exciting part. <laughs> oh, I see you uh, jimmied up here recorder again. Rick's always breaking and dropping things. And I dropped it pretty good, yes. Alright, is this rolling? I'm gonna go to sleep now while you while you investigate. <laughs> Wake me up when you're done. <laughs> <laughs> this hunting is so exciting. I'm gonna play that back as a clip, it'll sound like something. Oh, I That's how you do ghost hunting. You make those kind of noises once in a while and you forget about it. When you play it back, you think you got something. That's a little extra excitement to the whole thing. right there. Oh my god, I heard a ding. You heard a ding? I think it was a dinner bell. Maybe it's like... This is terrible. I'm already so bored. We just started. Yes. I'm already bored. You're bored already? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should be working right now. So boys and girls, let's do this for about 10 hours. <laughs> review everything for 10 hours. And you might find one thing that sounded <laughs> interesting. That's the excitement of ghost hunting. <laughs> Want a cigarette? <laughs> this is like being in prison. Yeah. It's cold walls and iron bars. And there's nothing going on. I'm serious. Who wants a cigarette? Come on down.
glad you looked away so I could stop my foot and then have it still when he turned back around. Yeah, that was hilarious. It was, it was really a good uh, trick one. So that's why it's easier to do this on television programs because they just create the sound effects. Project with you know, lasers or I would say so. Yep. something hissing at us. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go all the way up. Okay. Not much luck so far. Let's look so forward to this. I wanted to get some real ghost proof to share with you all. <laughs> but I'm only finding ghost poop. A whole other group is leasing this whole floor. Oh, I see. So be careful, everything's got a sign. Okay. But can we? We should be able to. Yes. Oh, another stairwell? We can get right into the main front stair. Okay. Sounds good. That's probably the best place to be. Try this. Well, this. Thought we heard voices years ago when we were here. Yeah. And this is away from all the heat and stuff. There is a heat in the stairwell. So that's the only good thing. Is there anyone in here? Tell me your name. This here was probably had walls at one time, I would assume. And was actually patient rooms, maybe? Um. All those that have doors mm -hmm. with a little window with safety glass in it. Yeah. Those are the bedrooms. Oh, I see. So this would have been this like, looks a, like a common area. Common area. And somebody saw a ghost here? Over here. And uh, they were working. They told me this story, actually. It was a lady, and she was working alone about this time of night, not real super late. And she felt that somebody was looking over her shoulder, and she turned to her right, and she saw there was this person looking at her work, and she was on a computer. And she engaged the person and said, Hello, can I help you? And then she looked at the person and noticed they were floating above the floor. They weren't standing on the mm -hmm. floor. 
So she goes, okay, and she quickly put her stuff together and ran. And downstairs. she pulled out her her meth pipe and started. Uh... No, she is a straight shooter. Mm -hmm. Total straight shooter. Right. No, she just ran downstairs. There were still a couple of people working downstairs. She told them, and then she left. She's like, where's my crack? She said, get me the hell out of here. I'm so scared. I saw a ghost. And this person supposedly, the story's about the same individual. Mm -hmm. The smell of rose or roses is present just before or after or during. When there's a flower delivery. When that apparition makes mm -hmm. itself known. Yes. Okay. Whoopee. Oh, I can't wait to go to the abandoned location. There's no goddamn ghosts here. They're everywhere. Okay. You just have to be quiet and listen for them. Uh-huh. I heard one say, fuck you, we're here. <laughs> This number still work. I haven't called this number since I was a kid. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. The number you dialed has been changed, disconnected, or is no longer in service. If you feel your hmm. I just discovered something. <laughs> This access, I think we found what the residents used to do. They used to sneak in here. Because these are really old. These old cans of natural light beer. I mean, these things are like 20, 30 year old cans. Come on, shine on the can. You see? Bring see? one out. You can tell because look, it's oh, like the old pop top. Where now, they're, of course, they're, they don't come off. Let me see the side. Oh my gosh. They probably hid in here and drank beer. Because in the um, in the 90s, this was used as an assisted living. I bet you either they just threw their beers in there or they went in there and hid and drank. How far back does it go? Goes the whole width of this side of the building. Can you stand in there? Right. I just want a demonstration that my theory is plausible. Yes, you can. Holy shit, there's a... Hold on, I'm coming in. There's a light. Oh, awesome. Move. Now, why the hell would you put a light in here? Except for having a place to hide to drink your beer. Oh, man. That is just too cool. I mean, because otherwise it's a worthless crawl space. You never need to put lighting in here. Let's see what's back there. It's nothing. Although, hmm. My fat girth will not allow me in there. All right, I can't. <laughs> I'll never get out. All right, I can't see now. Ah. What's going on? Damn it. Okay, it's just a lot of space back here. All right, I'm coming back. I can't see a fucking thing. You caught me. I just got out of my bedroom. It's a little funky. Yeah, office candy usually is. Yes, it has like a little sour taste on the outside of the mint. Yeah, it's probably 300 years old. I think that was from 1933. <laughs> All right, I think we should uh, we should get out of here. It's a little boring. Well, 
you'll cut all the stuff about it being boring and you'll make it an exciting, splendorous presentation. That'd be very difficult. There are no fucking ghosts here. Well, you could have, like, had me do some, like, shots where I was, like, recording and then I do something. I like did, that. and they're horrible. <laughs> This is literally watching Ambien. <laughs> <laughs> if Ambien was in television form, this it's would be not it. Not waiting for Ambien to kick in, <laughs> just Ambien itself. <laughs> No, they had offices in here. Oh, they did? Well, March of last year is when I was here. No, March of this year. Shame. You could read some books in here. Maybe. Yeah. You'd love to just have a fire going all winter and read some books. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if that room 66 is open. This place is eerie as crap. 
Hey Rick, what is that? Looks like the devil was scraping the wall. Locked in or something. This room gives me the creeps. Yeah, you'll see it upstairs. I hope we didn't let anything out. That was supposed to stay in. What is so weird is that this door, Rick. <clears throat> It was, you could not open it. Oh my God. I just, I'm like, we would have had to break out of here. It was latch on the inside. But how did it open back up again? Without getting broken, it's like, And why is the room padlocked? I like this is the original walling. Walls in here, it's all plaster. What was that? Wind blowing some wrapper. Okay, let's go to the attic.
sweep up here to make sure there's nobody up here. Close that door. Close the door. There's a chair and a curtain. Rick, there was somebody staying here. Somebody who's young was staying here. There's a bunch of like Hello Kitty, and then there's like spray painted balloons and like a runaway or something. Okay, I'm I am officially like <laughs> getting freaky. Yeah. What happened with that noise? What I don't. That? It. It sounded like a door sh slammed shut. Down, down below, right? Probably 66. <sighs> For a night with no wind. Yeah. How the hell did it close that hard? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, cool look a skylight. Or a transom light on um, window. Yeah. Did you hear that, Rick? Was that you moving? No. I heard that. I thought it was you moving. You're standing still when I heard that. No, it... It sounded like something rolled across the floor. What was that? It literally, like, I could hear something rolling across the floor right next to me. I thought it was footsteps. No, no, no. That's what I thought it was you. I'm going to check under that blanket because it's, it's bothering me that there might... <laughs> What? Oh, you said please don't be a person? Yes. It's not. Yeah, it's just, it's just balled up. That view up here is amazing. Do 
want to get out of the other end of that closed up room. No, I'm actually not too bad. Really? Especially because I'm wearing these boots. Yeah, they're like uh, insulated boots. Yeah. yeah. Was that you? That was your boots. the ghost questions. So why don't you uh, tell us your name or do something. Let us know you're here. We're in the stairwell. Three, two. 
times in there. <laughs> on the ceiling, if you want me, twice on the pipes. The answer is no. <laughs> That's Rick's. Rick's antiquated. Uh, wow, that thing is old. What is that from like the 2000s? Mm -hmm. And it still works. That's good, Rick. Hello, is there somebody back here? Is there anybody in there? That door, Rick. That one right there, is there somebody in there? It was, it was from back here. Well, we're on the second floor. That's the garden, so... Oh, come on. This is crazy. That doesn't go anywhere, does it? There's, There's no, nowhere to get down. Oh shit, we shouldn't leave our stuff. In case there really is somebody in here. There's... Oh, what the fuck? You heard it. No wind hardly to speak. No. That was loud. It was like a door slamming. It was like intentional. Yeah. That's the second time that's happened tonight. Did we get the first one on the tape? Yeah, I was filming when we uh came up to the Yeah, when we went up to the attic. Yeah. I was filming that. It, it was right in here where that noise came from. It wasn't coming from upstairs or downstairs. It was right over yeah. behind us. Yes. I mean, it literally sounded like somebody just like slammed a door. Hello, is there anyone back here? Is 
There's no one in here. Anything? Put your light down. Okay, right? Yeah. You can say, you can say like, I think this house is haunted. Okay. I think this house is haunted. <laughs> wow. Rick, do you have anything else to say? Chopper. Last to move those blind clouds. What was her name? Mary. Fritz Garrett Jacobs. That was the the name of the the lady who lived here. Or who this was her house. Right. She died in nineteen thirty six and then she gave the home to the Episcopal Church, I believe, and turned it into housing for lady uh ladies of I forget. It was older ladies of yeah. difficult means or something. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. And then it became a church. Uh, I don't know when that happened. But uh, this, the way it is now, is uh, bad. Just awful. Be great for kindergarten, elementary school. <laughs> I suppose. Just as is. I suppose. What do you mean that school is bad? When I had to go to elementary school, I had to walk uphill in the snow with bare feet on ice-covered roads because I couldn't wear the shoes every day. I had to share them with my brother. I wore them every other day. And then he walked barefoot to school. And in then the he snow. Would go, yes, it was, <laughs> we were so poor. <laughs> You're so full of shit. <laughs> Did you hear that? No. I keep getting cramps in my side. It's probably the ghost. No, it's just uh, probably too much fat. <laughs> You can't tell me you didn't hear that. It sounds like a woman's talking. Where is that coming from? 
still got to open these doors. This floor does not feel safe. What in the hell? Was that deliberately done like that? I don't get it. Was that a dog barking? Is this coming from back there? Don't walk there, Rick. That's ready to cave into the, um... Alright, I think I'm ready to go. I don't want to deal with this anymore. It's freaking me out. And, uh, I want to continue to not believe in ghosts. <laughs> Alright. We did it. What's your final um, assessment? There's something going on in here. <laughs> Too bad we don't, we're not by the piano. No, not that, but there's something else going on here. You think? That we did not cause. We should uh, sell tickets. <laughs> I don't get it. I really don't. I don't want to. I. Rick. What the fuck? It's a cat. Is it a cat or an owl? What is it? Kill your light. What in the fuck is that? Are you recording this? Yes. Sounds like a baby.
was an interesting development. <laughs> What the hell? Was it a baby? <laughs> I I am thoroughly creeped out now. I want to leave. Let's go. I'm just going to keep the camera on just in case. What in the hell was that? God. 